Hi, in this screencast I will show you based on simple test case which is an XML to a CSV map embedded into a route how to use a custom Java function. Um, the requirement is to camel case a word which is obviously not in the rich function library of the talent data map. I will show you how to create, test and export a Java utility class from within the Talent Studio. Next, I will configure class loading in the data mapper perspective and I will show you the use and test of the method in this perspective. Once everything is working as we want it to, we will build a route and test it from the studio. And last but not least, we deploy the route to a standalone and a talent administration console deployed enterprise service bus. Okay, now we have the agenda. Let's get to work. The map that we're going to use is rather simple, based on a very simple input structure, which is a document. A document had one or more persons, and each person has a first and a last name. We're going to translate this to a CSV file, as I will demonstrate now. As you can see, the test run output contains now a CSV representation of the input XML uh, I showed you before. Now, the rich um, function library of the talent data mapper contains many functions where none of them are actually applicable directly to create the camel case word as I showed you in the beginning of the presentation. We'll need to use a custom Java method for that. That method is implemented in a utility class, which is basically a class with one or more, more static methods. And I created one, which basically takes an input string and returns a camel case um, string back as a result. I will run the class here and you will see a the longest word in a Shakespeare work is I am not even going to try to pronounce that word but as you can see every other character has been camel cased or not. Very simple method, it will fit uh, our purpose to demonstrate the function use of a custom function in Java in a data mapper fine. To glue this all together, a route was created. And the route basically consists of an event fired. I'm getting the XML from a resource. In this case, I attached the resource to the route, which is the XML I just showed you earlier in the video. I'll output to the log file the body before the CMAP component and I'll output the body after the CMAP component. The map itself is linked to the map path which is opened currently in my studio which is here. Well, let's get started. What we would like to do is to get the first name of the person instead of just mapping it from first name. We would like to apply the custom Java function here, Java method. First, what we need to do is make sure we have the jar available. We'll go back to the Java perspective. We're going to export our class in a jar file. purpose. I will make it version 1.2 and click finish. Now on my desktop there is a jar file which we can use later on in the map. What we're going to do is first make sure that the map is configured to use the Java function and we're going to configure class loading afterwards. It's always a two-step. You need to call the method and you need to make sure the method can be found in the class path. It's a lot of perspectives here, so I'm sorry for switching constantly. Um, we're going to delete this. 
and we're going to drag a Java function here. Now, we need to specify the class name and the method name. And I copy and paste. The class name is here. Make this a little bit bigger. It's the fully qualified name of the class and the method that we would like to call. Now we still need to provide an argument and the argument for basic will be the first name. Oops. And we'll drag the first name to here. That's it. Now the output will basically be the result of this Java method with this argument. Let's save it. Let's try to run it because this is what I did the first time without actually adding something to the class path, the jar to the class path. And you will see this. The transformation code failed to compile. Obviously it cannot find a function named the fully quite name of the function with a single argument. Now it took me some time to figure out where to add this. Um, and the only way I could really find to add this is basically go to the database, create a new database definition, which obviously we're not going to do. But if you tick the show more button here, you will have access to the class path used in the studio. Pay attention, this is just for using in the studio. I'm going to edit the class path, remove an earlier version, and I will go to my desktop where I just exported utilities chart open it, click OK, and I will click, click Cancel here. Now, if everything goes as expected, the class can be loaded from the class path, and it will run. And there it is. Wow. There we have the names camel cased, or whatever you would like to use it. Try to find some longer names on the internet. Apparently these are the longer, still pronounceable names on the internet, and you can see they're all camel cased. Okay, so um, basically we, uh, we were able to use in a map um, a custom Java method. Let's switch back to the route. The mediation perspective here. Um, what you would expect is that since the jar is all already assigned to the map, um, it is included in the route, but not so much. If you try to run this without actually adding uh, the jar to the route itself, you will see it fails. It fails miserably. A lot of red errors here. Basically it's the, the same errors that you got if you would have looked at the details in the data in the simple in the simple map um, of the of the error. Uh, by default pretty print is enabled in the error pane but if you would have copied this to a text editor, you would have seen the same error. So what we're going to do is basically adding a config component, and we're just going to add the library to our route. It's done. Let's run it again. And you will see that the jar is loaded and passed to the data mapper. And it actually works. We can see here body set before CMAP component, which is the input XML document, and the body set after the C component, CMAP component, which results the Java function. Now, when you're going to export this route to a standalone ESP, you should not forget to modify the manifest. If you do not do that, it will run from the studio. It's added to the studio class path, but not to the bundle. So what we're going to do is we're going to say edit route manifest. And you will see that the bundle class path is already prepared for you here with the jar. You just need to take it, save it. And now you're ready. We can build a route, which is basically the 
create a car and um, I will push this directly to my ESB which is started and I have a local ESB here it's just an empty vanilla uh, ESB installation from the Talent 542 suite um, and I have a tail on the log here so we can actually see what's happening click finish switch back here you will see the tail that a lot of components are registered and here it is running directly as a car from the standalone USB so far so good now never forget whenever you you'd like something to be published from the tenant administration console which is what we're going to do now you should always check in and close your artifacts in the studio otherwise there might be a setting on the tenant administration console that your changes are not uh, submitted to SVN which then the build the ESB publisher won't see it I, I lost like half, half an afternoon figuring out why my results were not updated when I did a talent administration console ESB publisher build um, we're going to switch to the administration center to log in and in the ESB publisher we see here already prepared the C custom Java funk demo um, basically I will rebuild it I will change this to version 05 press save and I will start the build process here Click publish basically it means I'm publishing now through the uh, command line basically I'm doing a compile and build and publish it to the repository through the uh, talent administration console take some time um, hopefully everything goes fine meanwhile I will show you that on an SSH uh, connection I have an enterprise service bus which is also a vanilla installation but this one is connected to the talent administration console and I have an authentication entry in my log it's published so let's go to the ESB conductor I will choose this time the feature 05 that's the one that we just built there it is feature 05 OK click save we'll just deploy it to the first uh, ESB instance and we'll deploy it here you will see the same result as we just had in the console and here a map with a custom Java component functioning also in an enterprise environment um, this basically ends my demo. Thank you for looking and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.